Hey guys, and welcome back to Horror Room. Actually, found a movie that's worth bringing to the channel. So, this is called X. Came out uh, the 13th, and I believe on the 18th it will come out uh, nationwide in the United States. I don't know about worldwide. And then the synopsis is basically in 1979, a group of young filmmakers set out to make an adult film in rural Texas, but when their reclusive early hosts catch them in the act, the ex, the cast, soon finds themselves desperate to fight for their lives. So that's pretty cool. I really like sex, <laughs> and I really like horror. <laughs> so this this caught my attention. Um, and the cast is pretty good, so we'll show you that. So, X, 2022, it's got uh, a slasher film, awesome. So I got slasher, I got sex, and I got horror. And a cool little plot twist about elderly people finding out <laughs> that you're shooting a porno, and I guess they try to kill the cast, is what it sounds like. You got Jenny Ortega, who just played in Scream, and Brittany Snow, who is in Pitch Perfect. That's the only two you guys would probably know. Ty West has been around since like, I don't know, mid-1995. mid, mid, to, mid He made some movies. Nothing great. But Jenny Ortega is good. Brittany Snow is good. You got the director, Ty West. I've heard of a couple of things he did. He's done a few things, but not, 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 not a lot. Do not know who the cinematographer is. There's your theatrical release poster. Pretty cool poster. Pretty simple. Nothing, uh, nothing exciting there about it. Now, the it's only got a 105 minute run time, which I don't like, but I do like. Cause I, you know, when you go to a theater anymore, you want it to be worth your time over two hours, right? But, in keeping respect to, uh, you know, rest in peace, Wes Craven, you know, he didn't have a lot of run times that were very long or close to ours because of that reason of cutting off the fluff which is cool and this reminds me of some uh, a type of film that mr uh, west craven would do because la last house on your left you know he started off his his career in porn um so he amalgamated porn with horror and this really feels like the same type of genre that movie and it's a slasher so you got your porn you got your horror and your slasher in a hopefully I don't know what the budget is. That'll tell us a lot. But it's A24. I do really, really like A24. If you haven't checked out that distributing company, they distribute a lot of high-quality horror movies. And they've been doing it since, like, uh, 2009, probably, 2010. They've been uh, in the horror game and have a lot of uh, really good uh, straight-to-DVD movies. And they really pick up projects that are quality projects. So I have a really, really good feeling about this. Just because the distributor A24. And you can usually tell by the distributor what type of movie and how well made it's going to be. Because they only like to pick up certain movies in their vein of interest. So A24 going to pick this up. Released on March 13th this year X by the XWSW. is like a little film festival type thing you can read about there in texas um and and i cannot wait to see this i'll probably if it probably won't come here i'm in west virginia it probably won't come to west virginia it'll probably be something i pick up on dvd but pretty cool in the vein of west craven uh west craven is my favorite director favorite writer so this fits right along with him we shall see how ty west directs and writes on this one maybe he'll uh, you know, pull this out. He's got a decent cast. I don't know about Mia Goth or Martin Henderson or Scott Modesty, however you say his name, but I do know Gina Ortega and I do know Brittany Snow, both good female actresses. So there you go. So X 2022, wide release on the 18th of this month, right after St. Patrick's Day. You got your beer and you got your murder and sex. What else do you need, guys? So, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get out and see it. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to see it. And if you see it, did you like it? And if it came out in theaters in your neck of the woods, I probably won't have mine. But it might. But if it doesn't, I'm definitely going to grab this on DVD. Thank you guys so much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, stay creepy.